This is harder than I thought. Wait, I gotta focus. tight from this lace pulling my eyes back the fuck? before i get started with this video let me say this, this quick disclaimer because i i've noticed a few comments you know regarding my sports bra i'm sorry about saying this yes i understand that i probably do wear this or the other one very often but what if i wash it okay i'm not gonna lie. i don't wash it every time i put it on okay i'm not gonna pretend like i do it's a sports bra. I'm in the cover of my own home. Baby. No free, like, let me, let me wear my sports bra. Oh, always got something to say. A, B, C, D, S, D, G. Stop what you doing, get lit with me. I'm gonna do a little twist with this video, baby. Not only this video is gonna have something that you could look forward to, I'm gonna try to do my eyebrows blindfolded. What? So you really think you could do your eyebrows without looking? Yes, bitch! Think you are oh. I'm gonna try to do my eyebrows blindfolded. And as I try to do my eyebrows blindfolded, I will also be telling you guys my goals and what I look forward to with the new year. And if you want to, man, you can also comment down below your own goals and what you wanna change about yourself and things that you look forward to for the new year as well. I will be happy to read it. We, we, you, if you trust me though. You know what, child? I really wanna get straight into it because I feel like this is a real cool challenge. So I'm gonna move you guys up a little closer to me. And we're gonna just get started with this. Okay then, anyway, let's go. So as you guys could like, I don't have, I actually did have a blindfold, but I don't know where it's at. But it's Corona, so let me protect my eyes. I'm gonna just put this on, oh my God. you know? Cause I really wanna be able, I don't wanna just keep my eyes closed and y'all think I'm peeking. I'm gonna really try to do the damn thing for real and do my eyebrows with my eyes being covered or whatever. Um, shit, I can't see. This nigga stupid. Yeah. These are the only things that I use to do my eyebrows. I use this by Elf, so I use this about like a dollar or 50 cents or 20, I don't even know how much it is. And I use the solvent, is it called a solvent tip? I don't know, anyway. Carmex. Let me brush it up for the most part, at least, feel me? Get a feel for my eyebrows. I don't have much. So, child, let's go ahead and get started. Um, One thing that I did experience with the new year that oh, this is harder than I thought. Wait, I gotta focus. One thing that I did experience with the new year that I was not a big fan of at all is for one is the death toll. Like the death rates, like like the people who passed away, like they probably weren't, you know, you know, closest to me. But it's just the fact that how many how many people lost a family member, a friend? Like it's just so sad. Like 2020 took a lot away from us. Um I don't know what it is. I honestly, I became more fearless with like how I live life because I'm I'm very scared of a lot of things. But you know, I'm choosing to live life like it's my last. But I want to do it cautiously, though. You think that I want to be able to enjoy myself, but still be on the safe side because you, you really never know when it is your last day. Like I, 
like rest in peace to everybody who did lose their life i feel like this is not dark enough but another thing now one thing about me for the new year for what i what i was taught in 2020 don't be giving don't 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 be so quick to to give a helping hand don't be so quick to give a helping hand not everybody deserves it regardless of how good your heart is some people could some people like could really they see that's what you are like they'll, like they'll just manipulate your heart and that's terrible to think baby like why would you do that well why would you know my heart you know how i damn what is this i'm looking for the freaking the, the um thing i've been looking for this too long oh there you go wait okay so all I'm saying is that, you know, for the people with the good hearts out there that are genuine, down to earth, and willing to give a helping hand, because the first thing you think about when somebody asks you something, damn, if I was in your shoes, I would want you to do that for me. <laughs> but the thing about that is, though, the difference between you and them is that you're not going to do whatever it is. You're not going to fold that bag to be in their shoes. And that's what I had to learn. Sometimes by giving a helping hand all the damn time to everybody, you real life just blocking what they you you blocking your own blessings because they need to go through it and they need to be able to go through that process of whatever loss they're experiencing because of probably whatever they did in the past. Probably that they need to learn how to stop making those bad decisions. So being for them to be able to rely on you whenever they need you and stuff like that, you're not helping them anyway. It sucks to say that, and it it, it kind of makes me sad too because like why are people like that? It's just, it's just, that's just how, that's just the world we live in. Can y'all see me? Hold on, I'm gonna cover my eyebrows so I can make sure y'all looking at me. Oh, wow. I was the wrong way. Okay. So it's just the world that we live in when it comes to people like that. So I'm going to start prioritizing myself more. I'm not gonna, you know, look to anybody. Of course, I could look to a few people when it comes to like, if I need something, you know, I'm gonna look to the people I know I could, like, I could count on. But other than that, <laughs> baby, baby, I ain't gonna call you in 2021, baby. I'm sorry, my phone broke for you. That's the problem. That's the problem. I don't understand it. Like my phone broke for you though. Like my phone, my phone worked. It worked good, but not for you. That's the problem. Like being able to be in arms reach of people and they only use their arm when they need you. No, I want to tell you guys my goals for 2021. I actually discussed it with my sister Naj already. But I'm not going to tell you everything because a few of them, like a few things are a bit um, personal. No, personal. Wait, personal. Sorry, guys. I just had to make sure I'm looking at y'all. I think these are the two colors that I use. My goals. All right. So as you guys know, I have been a YouTuber for about a year and a half or so. Um... I've been a YouTuber for about like a, a year and a half, sort of. What the freak? About to go on two years. I guess you could say I, I've grown pretty fast, but I feel like I could grow faster if I was to just reach out to people. I'm very scared. Like, you know, I'm very scared with just like speaking to people, period. Like, cause you, I, I just want to be able to protect my inner my inner peace badly like i i'm not gonna i feel like i'm an empath <laughs> call me someone walk if you want to i really do feel like i'm an empath reasons why i say that is because i could really my my mood my entire my body language everything about me could change once i read like once i'm in the in the wait like if i'm in the same room as somebody who who just brushed me the wrong way or who just has some negative negative energy like on them i just feel i'm like man something about you I ain't right. You see me? I can't even say it. That's the problem. So like, I just try to protect that because I know how naive I can be. You feel me? But at the same time, I can't expect myself to to become like to be bigger or become more known. Wait, no. Cause I just touched my edges. I'm way too far off. I can't expect myself to become more known and get around if I don't network. 
you know, so I'm going to be more open to collabs. I'm going to be more open to, you know, reaching out to people because like, how, 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 how can I grow? You feel me? And that's just something I'm going to have to work on. Like, I, I, I really, it hurts my feelings that I thought I hit 100K on Instagram, but baby, I didn't. Trash. Instagram was just glitching that day. And it just, it makes me realize how bad I really want to hit 100K. Like, it makes me so sad. And I've been stuck at 90, 90, what, 96.2 for a little minute. Just, just bounce around there. And that's bad. So I'm going to be more active on Instagram. Um, I'm going to make sure I, I'm, I'm going to post every week. You feel me? That's 52 weeks in a year. And throughout the 52 weeks, and y'all gonna get at least 100 to 150, maybe 200 videos out of me. And that's just that's just what I wanna do. Unless I really need a mental break to recharge because that happens to me. I'm not 22, I'm not happy all the damn time. I'm not, no child, girl, I be going through it myself. No play. The fucking damn thing. My goal is to try to hit at least 300,000 subscribers by the end of the next December. Um, I, I just want to be able to have a solid fan base, like a solid, not fan base, a solid, I want my babies to just be there. Cause like I said, I've said this before, I have 100,000 subscribers, but I don't have 100,000 supporters. I have like about 10, 15,000 of you guys, you know? And I don't want to just, make it seem to be where you guys are just here to just put money in my pocket or whatever. I want to be able to have an intimate, wait, that means sex? Wait, no. I want to be able to have somewhat of a personal, you know, connection with all of my subscribers. That's why I like to ask you all, God, ask you guys how your day's been, this and that. Because you no, know, we, I, I care. Like, I know how it feels to not have nobody there for you. I know how it feels to feel like, you know, you're alone. And I don't want y'all to feel that way. Like, I want to be able to have true supporters. Whoa. You know, I really just, like, I have a lot planned for myself. Um, 2020 showed me like the position that I can put myself in versus to where, like you, if, if, if you, if the grind, if the hustle ain't you ain't pop out of 2020, baby, you just ain't got it. You need to change that. I'm and something else. I'm sorry that y'all might, y'all might find this weird when I say this, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to be on Netflix or something. Like I, I really like, you know, it's more to this than just YouTube to me. For one, it's me being able to express myself however the way I feel without without the need of me feeling judged, baby. Unlike other people, I could really talk to a camera and, and be fine with it, babe. I could talk to a camera and be okay with that. You know, it ain't nothing to me. I could talk to a camera and be okay with that because... Like, you know, I've been doing this since, like, there was been times when I was, like, six, seven years old. I'm freaking doing these imaginary cooking shows while I'm cooking my ramen noodles. And I ain't talking to no camera at all. I'm talking to the microwave. What? Now I'm doing this in real life. Like, I'm doing this for real. Like, in a sense, like, I sort of, like, use my YouTube platform to, to kind of audition, to kind of just, you know, I want to do that more often. It might sound weird, but... You know, I know what I want. I want to be able to be. I want to be able to be on somebody's screen, like somebody watch me on a series or something, a movie. You feel me? Like I, I have a pat. Well, I can't say a passion because I don't know much about acting. But I really feel like if I put my whole heart, every, I, well, I am. Girl, shut up. You just. I'm by myself. I don't have the agent. I don't have things like that. So I'm just trying to make things work for myself, pretty much. Like. That's it. Wait, before I continue, I want to see my eyebrows because I think I'm done. It don't really be taking me that long to do my eyebrows. Okay. Damn, this this light like, kind of bright. What? This is terrible. Terrible. Well, we gonna continue to speak. I took Instagram too lightly. I should have grown more. But I can hold myself accountable for that. Like I will. Like I'm gonna hit going into 2020. I'm gonna hit 100k by 
before January ends, I'm gonna give myself that goal. I don't wanna rush to get somewhere. And then when I get there, I'm struggling. So I kinda wanna build and I want to reach there the right way on time, basically. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My confidence has grown to another level. Like the way I feel about myself, can't nobody take that from me. And I feel like that's the same thing for y'all to feel too, boy or girl. I understand I probably have more girl subscribers, but baby, if you a boy and you feel like you not that nigga, change your mind. Cause you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta go get checked out for real. Go to a therapist or something. Let the therapist know I'm that nigga, right? Yeah. That's not everything, but that's majority of everything. And I want you guys to comment down below your own goals and what you expect for 2020. Happy New Year's. B G L. You got me so What's up, babies? This is your girl BG back with another hair review. Okay, so I'm probably understanding that y'all probably like, wait a minute, what we doing? Well, we doing this. I just gotta add this. To you. If you don't want to watch this, but you don't got to, I just got you feel me. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick. I'm pretty sure you guys would like to know the hair details on what I have on. Um, this is a water wave 24 inch wig by Arabella. Being completely honest, this hair does shed a lot, but I'll give it about probably like a seven, eight with shedding. No, I'm gonna give it an eight. Cause it is, to me, it just sheds too much. Um, This is a water wave wig. It doesn't it look like it's a water wave, but the curl pattern is so down. Cute. Like, look at this. What? The curl pattern is beautiful, y'all. I just felt like this was perfect for this, like push back look with the, wait. Let me put the shoulder out, hold up. What the fuck, wait. be a problem i'm gonna be a problem 2021 for real and y'all gonna be here to witness but the hair deeds on this hair this hair is pretty it looks very nice it was also very easy for me to install this isn't just a this is a regular lace nothing too special about it it's not no hd lace y'all i really took my time with trying to you know install it the right way you feel me it was very easy for me to install the lace was not really too thin but i did unpackage this hair it did the texture of it just felt like you know it gave me very much hair store. It didn't feel like it was straight off the donor. Just something just felt sort of synthetic about it. Um, which led me to, you know, to kind of drown it in something to keep it more moisturized. You know, although the hair, it wasn't completely dry when I first unpackaged it, but it wasn't like top tier. It was like, wait, why does, you feel me? Like that. What? Does that make sense? Besides the hair shedding a lot and me having to like moisturize it, what I did use to try to moisturize it, give it more of a, like, cause I, although I don't, I'm not a big fan of putting a lot of products on curly hair because that can't ruin it, but I did put a little bit of Sheer Moisture Curl Enhancing um Cream along with some leave conditioner and some water in a bottle. It did help it a lot. It allowed the curls to pop in away more. Y'all look at this, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Everybody trim by this wig, they love it. They very much love it. And I love it too. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. It's just a little try. That's it. Promise. That's it. It was very easy for me to bleach these knots. The knots bleach beautifully, actually. They bleach very evenly too. Like, it looks like, everybody telling me it look like scalp. Babe, it look like scalp. Let me show y'all. It look like scalp on this side. Hold up. Babe, this is my hair. This is my real hair. Don't talk, don't talk to me. Don't ask me no questions. This is my real hair. This is from my, my for real. Y'all never see a, come on now. This is me. This is my real hair, don't talk to me. I'm not playing. Don't ask me no questions. This your real hair? Yeah, don't talk to me. Please don't touch. Free? Anyway. Don't touch me. I got people in my brain. But yeah, this hair is beautiful. I, the knots bleach so beautifully. Like this, like besides outside of this, shedding a little bit and being a little dry, it's beautiful. Okay, if you guys interested in this hair, please check. Okay. Let me, let me hold my tongue before I say that. Because the way you know it's gonna work, it's gonna work kind of weird with this one. But please check soon in the description down below because I will soon add their links and stuff to the bio because I can't do so now because I don't know if they're gonna respond to me. Kind of weird, understand? I don't wanna, 
anyway but once i do add the description the links in the bio i will make sure to post it and you guys will like it will be on the top of the bio everything bio description it will be on top of the description and everything so y'all just keep a lookout for my community post so if you're interested in this hair you guys go ahead and get your dibs on it okay all right and i don't do hair i don't do hair reviews on my main channel you know i have my own personal you know hair channel to do these hair reviews but you're gonna see me double dabble here and there every now and then understand understand hope you guys enjoyed this video please like share comment subscribe baby follow me on instagram we're going we're doing new things in 2021 for real we really we really starting off on a fresh start big girl big girl shh big girl shh stop playing bg out